Hi guys, okay, so um, a couple months back I had made these pocket watches and I had given one to my sister but I had kept one for myself and ever since I had shown those um, two pocket watches, this one being one of them, in that update everyone has been asking me for a tutorial on how to do them. So today that's what I'm going to be doing but I'm just going to show you guys what you need in the step by step process that I did to get this finished look. And the lighting is not very good on this, so I'm sorry if you cannot see very well. But it's basically a Sentimental Circus pocket watch looking thing. So, yeah, let's get started. Okay, so obviously what you're going to need is the same pocket watch. But if you cannot, oh, you can see me, hi. <laughs> but if you cannot get this pocket watch, because I got this one at Michael's, but I'm sure you can get it at Joann's or Aaron Brothers or anywhere that sells really cool like metal findings, not findings, but like cool, anything that, any place that sells ideology um, craftware. So if you cannot find this, you can always, there's other options. So this is like an old watch that I have, it's Hello Kitty but you can pop the back off just like you can do with this one. So it's a smaller smaller little screen thing, but you can still put a sticker here, cover it with resin, and have it be a um, personalized watch. So I have one that looks like this, and I also have a little bit bigger one that is also Hello Kitty, but it's just a black um, strip, but the back also comes off like this. And all you have to do is take out the, the actual watch face, which is really easy. You just kind of like take off the back and it should come off fairly easy. And then you have this open thing that you are left to decorate everything with. So that's just an option if you cannot get a hold of one of these pocket watch things. So next thing you're going to need is obviously your resin. These are just two vials filled with resin and hardener. Um, and these vials I got at a swap meet, but they're easier because they have these little... Uh, push uh, vials so that I can actually get like a measured uh, amount of resin at one time instead of having to pour from the big the big containers of resin so I just have those then you're gonna need your stickers I have these sentimental circus stickers that are very puffy I have these sentimental stickers that are just hard but very glittery then I have these little mini sentimental stickers or sentimental circus stickers that I could just decorate the whole outside with. See this one I used a shiny sticker and then a bunch of little stickers around the outside that were from a sticker sheet like this. Then you're gonna need any kind of metal gear. These ones are both ideology. So these ones are bigger gears and these ones are little gears. I'm probably going to use most of the little gears, but feel free to use whatever you would like. Then you're going to need, what I use is any kind of glitter background that you can put. These are just little um, glitter flakes. These ones are just the shape of stars. Super, super cool. Then you're going to need something to mix your resin in. This is just a small silicone heart mold, but it's small enough to mix a small amount of resin because you obviously don't need that much resin to fill up this little tiny little thing. So let me show you guys the steps that I take to start this whole thing. Okay, so last time I did this, um, I thought that this was fully sealed around the edge here. So I just poured the resin right in and then the resin actually ended up seeping through this little line between the glass and the metal. So what I did, what I'm going to do this time to make sure that that doesn't happen is I'm just taking regular tape, regular tape, and I'm just going to cover it on the top here. And I'm just pressing down at around the edge to make sure that the tape is just kind of sort of sealing it, if that makes any sense. Doesn't really matter if it's perfect, just make sure that it's sealing it around the edges. And then you can pretty much leave it like that. So the back, we're going to pop it off. That was super easy. So now that the tape has sealed the bottom part, we know that Hopefully no resin is going to seep through. So let me stir some resin and I will be right back. Okay, so now that I have my, um, my resin mixed, it's basically you just put 50-50, half of resin, half of the hardener, 
and you stir it until it's clear again. So when you first start to stir it, you'll notice that it gets a little cloudy and then you basically just stir it until um, it's clear again and you make sure there's no bubbles. So I'm just going to basically pour it in here. And we're not getting enough resin to where it's going to overflow the piece because that's not what we need. All we need is um, just enough resin to do like the first layer. We're going to do two layers. One layer of the stickers and then the second layer of the gears and glitter. So this is just the first layer. Now I'm going to go back and let it seep through all the sides. So now that the resin is completely coated over the whole entire thing, um, if there's any air bubbles, just go ahead and blow on them so you can pop them. And they should pop fairly easy. And now we're going to wait about 30 minutes for the resin to get a little bit more tacky. I'll be back. So now that the resin has had a little bit of time to cure, um, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to pick my stickers that I want to put um, inside here and I'm just going to arrange them how I want them to look. Okay, so I finished placing the stickers. Now we're going to wait about maybe six to eight hours for this to cure. Um, not fully. It doesn't have to cure all the way just to where it's not going to move anymore. Um, basically, I'm going to be babysitting this, making sure that the stickers aren't floating around and that um, you know everything stays where I want it to stay. And once I know that it's not going to move anymore, then it's safe to do the second layer um, with more of the gears and then more glitter. So... Stay tuned for that. So it's been quite a few hours and it's it's still a little bit tacky, but I know that the stickers aren't gonna move at all. So what I'm gonna do now is just remove the tape because I know it's not gonna seep through anymore. And this is what I have so far. Really cute, right? So I'm basically going to mix the second layer of the resin that's gonna be this upper part that's gonna house the um, the small little gears and stuff and I will be right back. Okay, so now that the resin is stirred, I'm just going to pour it in. I'm going to let it go to all corners. There we go. Now what I'm going to do next is I'm going to take three of the gears that I want to use in here. I'm going to use these three. So I'm going to drop one here. I'm going to drop one here. And I'm going to drop one here. So those will sink. And feel free to move them wherever you want to move them. But now that those are in there, I'm going to add more of my sparkles or my uh, like confetti glitter. And I'm just going to get a little pinch in my fingers worth and start dropping some on. And feel free to add as much as you would like of whatever kind of glitter you want to put in here or whatever you have just laying around. You don't have to use everything that I use. You can also not use anything that I use and just make, make whatever you want to make. So this is completely open. And mind you, while you're working with resin, you're supposed to be wearing gloves. I'm not because I'm being a bad girl. I'm not wearing my gloves, but if you want to know where to get um, the gloves at, just on Google type in nitrile gloves 
and they should pop up some kind of place where you can go and buy nitrile gloves. I bought them from like a science, um, a, like if you were to like go to science class, their supplier, they have the nitrile gloves. So I also need to go get another glitter, one second. Okay, so I got one of my favorite glitters and it's um, bling. It's got this really pretty multicolor holographic silver. And I'm just going to take the shaker side and I'm going to shake some on here all around. So. Like that. So the whole back is just going to be mixed with the confetti and then the silver glitter. So what we're going to do now is we're going to wait about probably an hour to two hours till this back side starts to cure a little bit more and then once this side has cured a little bit then we're gonna all we're gonna do is we're gonna take the back and we're gonna pop it back on and it'll stay sealed forever because once the resin seals it's gonna seal on this part so basically you're never gonna get it off again <laughs> unless you break the whole entire thing but so I'll be back in two hours um, to pop this back on and then I'll show you the finished product Okay, so now that it's been sitting for a couple of hours and it's a little bit cured but not quite, still so very, very tacky, you're going to take the back and you're going to put it on. And you're just going to press it down. Lock the back in. It's okay if some of the resin like um, seeps out. That's just going to help the seal a little bit better. And now you have yourself your very own pocket watch very cute and you can just put like on this one I put a cell phone strap on it and you can hang it from your cell phone or you can just have it on your keychain because it's very durable or you can pretty much do anything you want with it so thank you guys so much for watching and make sure to comment rate and subscribe and also leave a comment or a suggestion for a next tutorial that you think I should do thank you guys so much for watching